Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about a low pressure system associated with a strong cold front that is going to be affecting portions of the US. And eventually we will have the Caribbean feeling impacts from that cold front. And so before I go into details. <music> Alright, so first off, let us take a look at the satellite view of the Caribbean. And so here in the Gulf of Mexico, there we have that cluster of shower and thunderstorm activity associated with that cold front and low pressure system that's developing. Uh, and in the Caribbean, we're seeing that we don't really have much going on, and that is due to some dry air. So we'll go on to that map very shortly. But as for the rest of the region, we don't see much really happening, just some clusters of shower activity here and there, but nothing major right now. And so let's take a look at that dry air map. And so we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of dry air about to make its way into the Caribbean and we already have some that's lingering. But when you see the lighter yellows, that indicates that we don't have dense amounts of dry air. However, as we head toward the darker orange, going to that red shade, that is when we have more dry air in the region. And so that is currently affecting portions of the Eastern Caribbean. While the rest of the basin is being blanketed by some very light amounts of dry dry air and so dry air helps to prevent the development of moisture so that is why we don't see much significant convection in the vicinity of the Caribbean as of right now but things are going to change because that cold front is going to make its way down and result in some very inclement weather conditions and so let us go ahead and take a closer look at this low pressure system so along the southern periphery of it we have some developing convection so that is offshore of course and and uh, as I said earlier, that low pressure system is going to rapidly develop later today. And the good news is that it's not going to be something lingering around for a very extensive amount of time, but it is going to be there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the GFS model is for casting for the system. Okay, so this is a map that showcases the isobars, and the isobars are the black lines and they are lines of equal pressure. And so when you see them in a circular manner with a pressure below 1013 millibars, that is a low pressure system. And so let us take a look at this. So this is today, the 20th of December, and here we see that we have that low pressure system in the western Gulf of Mexico. And so let us go further out. And so going to Tuesday the 21st of December here we have GFS showcasing that we will have that 1003 millibar low pressure system making its way across Florida and so other states such as Georgia and the Carolinas especially the southeastern portions are being impacted by this system as well and so when we take a look at the rest of the front we see that it has entered the Caribbean region and so Central American countries as well as Western Cuba are likely going to be feeling impact by tomorrow and so now let us go on to see what's going to be happening on Wednesday so and so here we have this low pressure system making its way more to the northeast and paralleling the eastern coast of the US but we have increased moisture in the vicinity of the Caribbean as that front is going to be making its way gradually to the southeast and so this is likely to result in some heavy rainfall as well as some gusty winds and also storm surges possible as well when the system is going to be making its way by especially in terms of that low pressure system that is expected to affect portions of the southeastern u.s especially florida uh, as we progress into later today and tomorrow and so guys if you're there please be aware of that because that thing as simple as you see it could result in some very uh, dangerous impacts in terms of like the rainfall and the wind so please be aware of that and so as we head to Friday the 24th of December Christmas Eve we're seeing here that we have some of that moisture in the Caribbean dissipating but some is going to still be lingering around by that time and so guys if you're in areas such as Cuba the Cayman Islands the Bahamas Jamaica even Hispaniola as well you will likely feel impacts from this cold front eventually so even though this is really somewhat of a forecast or prediction and it doesn't necessarily have to be the outcome we still have to pay keen attention to this because these are the likely conditions that are going to be associated with the 
front of system as it is going to be making its way down. And so we also have the icon model expecting almost the same outcome as the GFS model. And so this is by tomorrow on Tuesday, the 21st of December. And so by that time, icon is showing a 1005 millibar low pressure system just off the southeastern coast of Georgia. And so we have icon showing that we have this low pressure having an elongated center. And so again, guys, this is going to be bringing some dangerous conditions, some gale force winds and possibly conditions that would be similar to that of a landfall and tropical cyclone but hopefully nothing very very major and so by wednesday the 22nd of december icon is also agreeing as gfs on that cold front making its way more into the caribbean region for quite some time but eventually we're going to have it uh, dissipating as time goes on and so again guys so if you're in portions of the caribbean central america the bahamas uh portions of the southeastern u.s you're likely going to be feeling the impacts from this system as you're going to be progressing into the uh later down into this week so please be aware of the expected conditions and in portions of uh, the U.S. or in temperate zones, hail is also a possibility. And so guys, as we're going to be progressing into next month, which is January, we can expect more of these cold fronts making their way down from the U.S. Because this is usually that time where we have most of that kind of weather activity taking place and so please be aware of that especially if you're in portions of the caribbean because we know sometimes uh, these cold fronts can be very very strong and can result in some very dangerous conditions especially in terms of that very heavy rainfall that sometimes leads to flooding so again if you're in portions of the caribbean please be aware of what is going to be anticipated as we're going to be heading into the new year and so guys, please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe as you're going to be heading into this week. And it's going to be a very festive time as well. There will be a lot of traveling and we're going to have persons getting together as they make their final preparations for the Christmas period. And I hope that you guys are going to have a wonderful Christmas as we're going to be progressing into this weekend. And so guys, that is really it for this update video on the tropics. And so if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be otherwise. And of course, I will be keeping you updated on the latest on the tropics as time goes by.